Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. From legal services to preschool programs, the India Community Center caters to residents of all ages. Pragati Grover and Mansi Darne from the India Community Center join me on the show now. Thanks for coming on, ladies. Thanks for inviting us. All right, so tell me about the center and how long it's been around. So the India Community Center has been around for 11 years now, and uh, we cater to I joke about it, but the reality is that we cater to starting from preschool, three years of age, to senior programs we, where we actually recently celebrated somebody's 90th birthday. Oh, wow. And everybody in between, the youth, the adults, uh, we have programs for some, some, but somebody or the other, you know, everything, sure. yeah. A lot of resources. Um, you have some medical programs? Yes, yes. So uh, that... I love all the programs, but my favorite that I'm proud of uh, is the free medical clinic and the free legal clinic that we have. Uh, the medical clinic, we work with APIO, which is the American Physicians of Indian Origin, and these are all doctors who are practicing in the Bay Area, and they volunteer their time um, to come on Wednesdays and Saturdays, for examples, and they take people from all walks of life who have no insurance. They can walk in, they can see a doctor, a prescription will be written, but we will not give the medicine to them. So that's one thing. The other partner that we do for medical clinic is with South Asian Heart Center, uh, because um, there's a lot of uh, heart problems with South Asians, and South Asian Heart Center has done a really good job of doing research and how to prevent it. Mm -hmm. So we work with them. Then we work with Hume Center, which is behavioral health and mental health. We work with them. Then we even have an Ayurvedic clinic, so if people believe in alternate medicines and, and they can come to ICC, make an appointment and see an Ayurvedic doctor. So that's on the medical side. Um, for the legal clinic, we um, partner with South Asian Bar Association. So again, these are lawyers who are uh, working during the daytime, but in the weekends they volunteer their time and they come to ICC and give free legal advice. And mostly it is a mixed group of people who come, it's not just for Indians, so it could be immigration, it could be any other issues that they have, and they will help the people out. And Mansi, you have a very tough job, you're the preschool director. <laughs> well, tough and a, and a very, very uh, satisfying. Sure. Um, it, it, it is a complete feeling, uh, every day you walk to work, uh, you see these little kids uh, smiling right back at you, uh, no matter you know how their day has started, uh, no matter how my day has started, but uh, you know, you, you walk into the room and you see these cheerful faces uh, looking at you and saying, good morning, Miss Mansi, and that, that's it. That's yeah, if your day starts looking at some of those right. faces there yeah. in these pictures, then hey, that's yeah. a good way to start right. the day. Right. Yeah. Um, you have a certain curriculum that you go by with the kids? Yes, so we basically follow a play-based uh, curriculum, uh, which means we do a lot of hands-on activities in the classroom with the children. We keep it very simple. Uh, we stick to their needs. Uh, we make sure that they are interested in the activities that are being provided. Uh, the teachers work around um, what their interest levels are, uh, what their ideas are, and we are actually trying to assist them more than you know, be teachers in the room. Uh, sure. Be more of a friend uh, and guide them and channel their energy and teach them uh, you know, different things like, so it's not only academics that we cater to, we, we look into, we have uh, programs, uh, part of the curriculum, like we have Bollywood dancing, where we have an instructor mm. come in and teach dance once in a week. We have a fantastic music program. Uh, we have yoga uh, for the children okay. once a week. So we have instructors for all this, and which is in part with our academic skills. And as you said, it's not just academics. I mean, the cultural. Yes, the emotion. cultural piece is very, very important to us. Uh, we try to bring uh, generations together by uh, providing children with uh, not only uh, you know values uh, from uh, from our country but also making sure that they're learning things from here because they are, uh, you know, they are growing up here. So we sure. want to make sure they're aware of both. And when the school year is done, you have summer camps. Yes, we have 11 fabulous, fantastic <laughs> weeks. Uh, you know, varied. Uh, we run summer camps from uh, K to fifth grade. Uh, preschool is also part of it. And uh, yeah, we have children, we have, you know, 800 children at, sure. at certain points, uh, 100 children a week, 100 children 
a week walking in. And Praga, too, you have partnerships, too, that you, you partner up with uh, to make all of this possible. Absolutely. So some of the um, other nonprofit organizations in the Bay Area that we partner with is Children's Discovery Museum. In fact, we just did the art contest, um, and all the kids, um, there were about close to 100 kids who participated, so they're paintings will be um, put in Children's Discovery Museum in fall of this year. Um, then for the seniors, we are partnering with the Stanford Geriatrics Education Center, where they come and they help the seniors to kind of, you know, deal with uh, health issues that might be coming up and how to prevent it. So, so there's many, many partners. Many, many partnerships. I yeah. can go on and on, actually. I know. It's great. It's great. And the work that you're doing is so great. So thank you so much. And for more information about the India Community Center, just log on to indiacc.org. Again, that's indiacc.org. Coming up, how Special Olympics empowers Bay Area residents with intellectual disabilities.